Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here because we paint together. And today we are doing <coughs> beautiful, <coughs> loud elephants. <laughs> that was Keenan. You want to come say hi? Oh, that was Keenan <laughs> making that noise. That was a pretty impressive noise. Hello. Can you show them how to do it? I don't know if I can do it, <laughs> I don't know if I can do it without smiling. Okay, I'm going to try. <laughs> There's your elephant noise for the day. <laughs> that was amazing. So we're painting our elephant. Now, the supplies that we're using, we're using our watercolors. We like to use watercolors here. And I have a red, or this one's called fuchsia, yellow, and a blue. And we're gonna make a full rainbow, because you can see our elephant and our sprays, our water sprays, are rainbow colors. So when we use watercolors, we always like to have a brush, we have a cup of water, and a paper towel. Then the other fun thing, where is my straw? Oh, right here, is we're going to be using a straw. So if you have our box, go and grab that. Or if you don't, maybe ask a grown up, hey, do you have a straw I can borrow to do this fun technique? Now, first step is we're going to have a lot of fun elephant facts for you coming our way. So, Keenan, you may hear Keenan's voice with facts. With facts to share with us. So what we're gonna do is I want you to pick a color that you wanna paint your elephant. Now, we have the three primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue, but I wanna show you how you can mix two more, or three more colors, actually. So, let's do that first. Let's get our colors ready. So I'm just gonna show you, so you can do this with me as well, or you can just follow along and watch but I'm gonna show you the three colors we're starting with. Then what I wanna do is, this is how we mix, and we've done this before, where I'm gonna mix these two colors. So when you mix red and yellow together, you get orange. Ooh, that's kind of a reddish orange. It's pretty. Then when you mix yellow and blue, you're going to get green. So we're moving down. Do you see how we're getting the rainbow? Yes. Boom. Green. Yes. Now, when you mix blue and red together, or this is fuchsia, that's how you make. Ooh, so this kind of made a navy Ooh, color. That is Ooh, pretty. I like that. So I'm going to keep that. And let's add more fuchsia, and we'll get purple. So there's so many different colors you can make. Now, we are all ready to go. So before we paint here, we like to say our motto together. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Let's start with our little guy. Now, do you know what little elephants are called? Hmm. I think Keenan might know. Answer coming in three, two, one. Calf. Calf. There's a lot of baby things that are called calves, yeah. right? Horses are called calves. Cows are called calves. Elephant babies are called calves. So cool. That's at least three. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to show you, and I'm going to paint my elephant yellow, my little calf yellow. Now, if you want to paint yours a different color, I want you to do that. This is your painting. But I'm going to show you starting with a lighter color because we're going to do some fun tricks. So we're going to paint our little calf. We have the trunk of this. So I'm going to paint in, I'm coloring over the lines. Now, when you're painting, if you color over the lines on the outside, keep going. You didn't make a mistake. You're making your painting so beautiful, no matter what. So don't forget that. So we're gonna keep painting. Do you know how fast an, uh, an elephant can go? No. Okay, do you wanna know? Yes. Okay, it goes 25 miles per hour. <gasps> That's its max speed, that's so fast. And they're huge. Uh, they, the adults weigh like 
Five tons. That's ten thousand pounds. Five tons. Yes. So to think about it, how we were thinking, how fast do humans run? Yeah. The, they also humans run faster. They run, but they just run as fast. So think about yeah. a human and a huge elephant running, and they're going at the same speed. Yes. That's wild. That is so cool to think about. Super cool. Okay, so as we were painting this, now if you want to add some other colors, I want to show you maybe you have fun and you get loose and you go, okay, maybe I want to have some orange here. Kind of mix that in, maybe add some water. I want you to have fun and make your elephant your own. Now, cool, just added some little texture to them. Let's let that dry and we're gonna move on to our grown-up elephant. Now, I have two different size brushes, so if you have the same, maybe you use the small one for this one and the big one for this one, because it's a little bit of a bigger area. So I'm gonna dip in water, and I'm gonna start with yellow too. Maybe, let's see, so if this is the calf, and this is the grown-up, Keenan, I want you to think and make a story. Are these, is this the, the mom or the dad, or is this the, fr the older friend? Okay, okay. Uh, well, obviously they're dancers. <laughs> obviously, okay. Um, and they, they spend <laughs> a lot of time together. They're on a team. Oh, I like that. So I think they're gonna be best friends. Okay. Okay. So they're currently performing, they're practicing their performance that's coming up here pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and one's name is Genevieve. Oh, okay. And the other one's name is... Which one is Genevieve? Uh, the smaller one. Cool. And actually, she's just farther away. Oh, so she's... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tricky. Tricky. I like. Okay. Uh, and the closer elephant... Uh, she's shy, so we're thinking about her name for a minute. Mm, okay. Let's think about it. And then while we're thinking and we're painting, do you see how I added some green? And I'm adding some different colors. So on this one, I showed you how you can paint it one color and then add some color. I'm adding color while I'm painting and just mixing it. So maybe we'll add some blue. So this elephant is gonna be multicolored. Her name is Cece. Ooh, sweet. Okay, Cece and Genevieve, our best friends. Best friends. Who dance. Yes. Love it. They get pedicures together for their feet. <laughs> they do a lot of things together. That would take a lot of time for elephants to get a pedicure. Yeah, they have big feet and they have yeah. five They have five toes. I thought they were hooves, but they, oh, they actually yeah. have five toes. Oh, just like us. Yeah, but not all of their toes have fingernails. Whoa. Mm -hmm. That's a cool fun fact. Yes. I did not know that. Sweet. Genevieve and Cece. So while Cece is drying, let's go back to Genevieve. And we're going to add some shadow. So whenever you're painting something, this is what I like to do. I like to look really closely and I see, is there darker parts or lighter parts? I don't know if you can see on my ear, on the back of my ear, you might see a shadow behind it. So it looks like my ear is in front of it. So that's what we're gonna do with our ear right here. So her ear is right here. And what I wanna do is I wanna draw a shadow part and shadows are darker colors. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna grab my darker. So maybe I'm, I'll do the reddish orange. And so we're gonna do, there are a few spots. I want to add a shadow right here so that means behind the ear, I'm gonna paint and just draw a stripe, like that. Nice. Then, there's kind of a line right here for her chin, so the same thing, my chin goes in front, so I'm gonna draw a line right there, and there's two more spots. One is this ear is behind this front ear, so I'm gonna draw a line right there, and then one more is this leg is behind this leg. So I'm gonna draw a shadow right there. So now what I want you to do, so you want you to clean your brush and the original color or the first color that you made your elephant, so for me it was yellow, 
I'm gonna go and pick up the yellow. And what I want you to do is I want you to touch where you made that shadow line and overlap. And then I want you to paint out. So I want you to paint back over your elephant. So the same here is I'm gonna just blend it in. So can you see how it kind of softened that shadow? Yeah. The shadow kind of looked like a shirt collar for a minute. <laughs> I like that. Maybe we'll add that too. We can add so many different things. So what you're doing again is you're creating that shadow so it adds that pop. Now your colors may blend together. I love that about watercolors is that they blend. They have a mind of theirs, their own. And so we're going to just add and let it do its thing. We appreciate those little blending parts. Now, let's see, while I'm thinking about it, we can also add some texture. So elephants, elephants are beautiful animals and they have wrinkles or that's what I would call them. Yeah, like age marks almost. Yeah. And so what that is, and even on the calves, I've because I've seen elephants in person and they're majestic and amazing. And so when I was looking from, I was trying to see when I was drawing them, because I wanted to paint some when I was there. I was in this country called South Africa and it was by, it was by South Africa, it's called Botswana. And so I was looking at them and I was noticing that they have these lines. So when I was making this project for you, I thought, let's add some of those lines. So I'm gonna take a darker color and I'm gonna add some lines. Now, they can be anywhere on your elephant. So maybe there's some wrinkles there. Maybe there's some wrinkles on the legs. We're kind of adding that in and giving our elephant some texture. Now, if you wanna blend that in, here's a beautiful thing. You go and grab water, hit it off to the side, and I'm gonna kind of touch it a little bit. So it's kind of there, but it's also not. Mm. Well, sneaky, sneaky. Little magic trick. So we're just kind of adding those really gorgeous textures to our elephants. Also, elephants are pretty dirty. Oh yeah, they take mud baths every day. Yeah. So now that we painted Genevieve, let's go back to Cece and do the same thing. So whatever color you did, I want you to pick a darker color. So let's say I'm gonna pick a blue, this blue, and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna add a line. So I'm adding my shadow by painting a line. Did right you know their there. tusks are teeth? Oh, are so we can add tusks too. Yeah, we could. Their tusks are teeth? Yep. That's the ivory part, right? Yes. The white part? Yep. I didn't know that because they use that to eat. Or to chop them? I don't know. I wonder what they use them for. If I'll they're look teeth. It up. I'll find out, yeah. Yeah. But, what do they use them for? I think they're just for fighting. Oh. So I'm adding that shadow, and then I'm going to go in, I'm going to wish my brush in the water to change colors. And I'm gonna grab, let's grab a little bit darker color in green, and I'm gonna blend it back in. So I'm touching this. Mm. Maybe I'll add some water. So in water, it just lightens the color, and I'm gonna blend it black out. I've got information for you. Sweet, tell us. Okay, elephant tusks evolved from teeth, giving the species an evolutionary advantage. They serve a variety of purposes, digging, lifting objects, gathering food, stripping bark from trees to eat, and defense. Oh, so it's before they eat. Mm -hmm. The tusks also protect the trunk, another valuable tool for drinking, breathing, and eating, among other uses. Mm. So, let's draw some tusks. I'll add some. A group of elephants is called a herd. Mm -hmm. The herd is led by a matriarch, which is the oldest female. Whoa, I didn't know that. How cool is that? That is so cool. I know. Okay, so the tusks, I'm gonna wait till this dries actually, and we can do the tusks at the very end. So you saw I added some lines and then I kind of softened it by adding water. Now, 
this is the fun part. So as Keenan said, our elephants take mud baths once a day, just like we do. Well, we take baths once a day. Well, I take mud baths daily. <laughs> so let's draw the water spray part. Now, this is gonna be so much fun and this is why I want you to have your straw handy. And what you're gonna do is you're going to pick any color and when you spray, so see how the tusk is coming up and around? So when it's spraying out, the spray is gonna go like this. So we're gonna draw a little bit of color and add some lines. And I wanna make my spray multicolored. I wanna make it rainbow. So I'm picking up the different colors. And so think of this as little streams. So we're just drawing it like that. Then while it's wet, I'm going to rotate and turn my paper so that I'm going to use my straw and the sprays will go in the, that direction. So when it, we use our straw, we go really close, but don't touch the paper. And then we're gonna blow. And maybe Keenan can try and make that noise. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. So I wanna add more. So I want my spray to go out a little bit more. Okay, one more time. <laughs> it's not an easy sound to make. Oh, thank you for doing that for you're, all of us. We, we love it. <laughs> now, so that our calf is doing the sprays. Now let's add water sprays to CC. So again, I'm just drawing, adding little short lines to so that the water color knows where to go. And then I'm gonna turn my paper again in the direction where I want the sprays to go. This is a good spot? Mm -hmm. You don't have to do it. I'm ready. You are? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Sweet! Yes! That is so much fun! We can add a little bit more. I want a little bit more color. You are having so much fun. This is what we like to do here. We just add more color to our painting. Woo! I get a little lightheaded too. Yep. Yes! This is so fun! Okay, now the last step is Let's add some eyes. Ooh. Now, you can make them any color. I wanna show you if you wanna make them black, here's how you do it. You mix all three colors together that you have. So the three primary colors, which are a red, a blue, and a yellow. Oh, there's some yellow. You're gonna mix them together. Oh, so we just made black. Nice. Now, Here's what I'm thinking, is when we're looking at this, I'm gonna make my eyes, because when I'm, when if you're blowing water, your eyes are kinda closed, unless your eyes are open, maybe you're talented. <laughs> but I imagine the elephant's eyes to be closed, but they're smiling because they're having fun. So let's draw eyes that look like little smiley faces. So we're gonna draw it in this area of your elephant. You're gonna draw a smiley face there and the smiley face, so it'll be about in this area. Another smiley face there. Beautiful. Now, the tusks. Let's use mm. the black we have, but I wanna add water, because the tusks are a white or kind of a light gray. Yeah. So I added a lot of water to my palette, so I have a little bit of color. Now, the tusks are right here? I, th I think so. Can you show me a picture of an right, elephant? Yes. Yeah, they're right next to the trunk. Right here. Yes, and they come across. Okay, so if you want to paint it or you can use a, a pencil or a pen as well. Maybe I'll do that. So right here, and they kind of come out right here, right? So maybe we draw two smiley faces. So the tusks are are wider when they come wherever part of the body they come out, and then they get skinnier and they make a point. So we're gonna do that as well, right? That's what I was seeing? Yep. 
So they're wider here and then they come to a point right there. Do babies have tusks? Hmm. I think so. They're just shorter. Okay. Let's draw it right there. Can you show me another picture again? Yes, I can. So this is how we draw is you look at something and we're just drawing those simple lines that we see to make it come to life. So I think they're right here. So yeah, they're close to the end of the trunk. Cool. Nice. Does that work? Yeah, that works. I think it's it looks different because the trunks are up. Yep. So usually when we're looking at pictures, the trunks are down. Right. So then if you have that, maybe I'll pick my light gray and I'll just paint it really light. So you can add that. You also, you can, you don't have to do that. Maybe another idea is you draw and you paint what color, what time of day is it? Are they walking Ooh. on sand? Are they walking on grass? Are they walking on water? Are, are they, they magical elephants? Are they holding an elephant? in its trunk <laughs> or a log. Maybe they're picking something up. <laughs> yes. You can let your imagination run wild and paint and bring your painting to life. This is so much fun. I love painting with you and Keenan does as well. And we want to see what you make. So we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. Share. Take a, take a picture and share with us. And we will see you next time. Oh. Also, I want to say I forgot one other thing. If you want to paint more, and this was the elephant outline, how it was there, ask a grown-up and say, hey, I want to paint more. Go to our website, letsmakeart.com, and find this elephant project, and you can download, and you can trace, and make so many more. That fun? And you could have a whole dance crew. <laughs> yes, there you go. So you can have so much fun with this. Thank you for being here with me, and we'll see you next time. Bye.